Low-cost carrier JetBlue will commence air services from New York to St. Kitts and Nevis, establishing year-round connectivity to the destination. That announcement from Tourism Minister Marsha Henderson on Tuesday. Today is undoubtedly a proud and exhilarating occasion for the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis, and I am deeply honored to serve as the Minister of Tourism during this remarkable period for our nation's history. The announcement of JetBlue's service scheduled to begin on November 2nd, 2023, has been eagerly awaited for many years, and it fills us with immense gratitude to witness our aspirations materialize before our eyes. I take this opportunity to thank the JetBlue executives for their unwavering confidence in our destination and for all the work that must have been invested to bring this to fruition. I also want to thank the team at the St. Kitts Tourism Authority and their support agencies and our valuable partners, such as the St. Christopher Air and Supports Authority. Their dedicated commitment of time and resources over the past months have played a crucial role in ensuring the achievement of this positive outcome. The addition of JetBlue's three times weekly, year-round service is indeed a significant one. This noteworthy route adds much needed airlift capacity to the destination through the establishment of a consistent connection from JFK New York throughout all seasons. As a result of this new service, the destination now has year-round service from the UK, Miami, and now New York. The government of St. Kitts and Nevis is committed to working with international airline partners such as JetBlue to improve ease of travel and increase travel options to the destination. In a mere 10 months of taking office, we have lifted travel restrictions and developed key relationships to add regional and international airlift capacity. Our commitment aims to benefit all stakeholders and bolster economic sustainability to our nation. We will continue to collaborate with our partners, with our stakeholders and the airline to ensure that the route is profitable with the goal of ultimately establishing daily service to the Federation. Today is undoubtedly a day to celebrate and I extend my heartfelt congratulations to JetBlue and Team Senkits for forging this fruitful partnership. Prime Minister Dr. Terence Drew says the arrival of JetBlue marks a remarkable development in the country's tourism. The prosperity of our Federation relies heavily on international travel and tourism. The introduction of JetBlue's new route marks a significant milestone by establishing year-round connectivity to New York, a crucial market for our Federation. On Tuesday, JetBlue Airways announced the plans to continue expanding across the United States and the Caribbean, adding St. Kitts and Nevis and Belize to its destinations. Andre Huey, SKN Newsline.